Well, okay. Hello, everybody. Here is now with a, I start my, my design with this sketch and then for the uh, future ring. And uh, then I try to transfer the design to a log that I built, you know, exactly that design. So I can slide that later on. Here is a completed log with the design I wanted. And uh, then I start uh, comparing, uh, I make sure it's okay. And then I start uh, slicing it to, to, to form the uh, ring, all the different faces of the ring. In this case, it's 12. Uh, here I tried to use some wedges to form the ring, but it didn't work too good. So I had to glue two pieces of wood at the end of each wedge and uh, and then slice it. And uh, and that's, that's the way it worked the better. It's like one side, then the other, and then I end up with a with a wedge uh, 15 degrees on each side, which is formed 30 degrees for the 12, for the 12 uh, faces of the ring. Uh, here's a completed ring and uh, under the clamp for the glue up. And uh, here's another view. And, uh, and there's a different uh, rings that I need to complete the project. Here I show the profile of the project, but it, I changed my mind later on. I think it was too tall and, uh, and the base was too uh, it tapered. So I changed my mind. So this one was more on the, re on, the, on, the on the side that I wanted to do. I ran all the uh, rings through the uh, drum sander. And you can see a, a whole picture of the, the, uh, the drum sander. Here is, I machined the bottom half first. And the reason is that you cannot hollow it if you have a, the, 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 uh, the whole thing. Right here, I'm gluing the top inside the, uh, the, 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 the uh, lathe because I can center the rings a lot better on the lathe between the head and the tail. Here I can glue them back together the two halves of this, uh, the uh, project. Here I'm going to keep on building on the project, you know, and put more rings. And here is more or less all the rings in, in place. Here is, uh, I uh, finished the machining and I'm sanding it. And uh, there is uh, more sanding. I sand it till about two thousands. And then I put it on the, I leave it on the lathe and uh, turn the lathe very, very, very slow because I can, I have a lathe there modified with a different motor in a different controller where I can control it from about six or seven RPMs all the way up to, you know, uh, 5,000 RPMs. You know, some, some lathe don't have that, 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 that capability. So you see, I spray the, I spray the, uh, the uh, finish is uh, polyurethane, a clear gloss. And you can see I can spray it for a long time and I don't need to move the can a lot because the, the piece is moving for me. So I don't have to move the can and be a short squirt. And the reason I turn in it is because there is no run. If I keep it in one place, probably it'll run. So by keep on turning it, it, the piece it will not run, and it will cover a lot better, and it will the the uh, the uh, finish will will last a lot longer because I can build it a lot thicker without running. You can see uh, it's a great modification on the uh, on the lathe that I can do these. Any lathe that I had before, which is a similar lathe, I couldn't do that, unfortunately. And the motor I put is a motor from a, from a, from a, one of those uh, exercise mills, and uh, and that way I can turn it all the way down. Yeah, and the original motor was about two third horsepower, and this one is uh, two and a half horsepower, so it's a big difference. And it doesn't bog down every time I try to make a, uh, a thicker cut. Here, as you can see, the the piece you know started to get shiny. Uh, here, the piece is finished. You know, with a clear gloss, 
polyurethane, which is a lot better than lacquer. I put a little felt in the bottom, and underneath that felt is my brand. And uh, here is another view of the piece finished. I just wanted to show you the process that I use to put these things together. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.